Are you trying to cool down your house or maybe get a little bit of privacy from the neighbors? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take this window and turn it into this, a nice heat reducing and UV protected tinted window. Let me show you how I did it, let's go. So here's a few supplies we're gonna need. We're gonna need our window tint. You can get this on Amazon. All the links will be description below. You'll need a glass cleaner. That's ammonia freak. You should not have glass cleaner in your house because the ammonia destroys the window seals. You don't wanna do that. You'll need a spray bottle that has a mixture of water and children's shampoo. Make sure you don't have too much of that degreasing stuff in there. Something light, we just need it to be slippery. A lint-free rag to wipe your window, a squeegee, and a very sharp blade. First thing you wanna do is clean the glass with your ammonia-free glass cleaner and use a lint-free rag, I like to use a microfiber, to make sure we have a nice streak-free area. Next, we're gonna to cut to size our window tent. I'm gonna make sure it's about an inch overlapping on every border. So much more helpful if you tape the edges, corners to the sides, and this thing doesn't roll up. Next, we're gonna use our water and baby shampoo mixture and soak this window. Now, most of these window tints have a little tab right there that makes it easier to pull the backing off of it. If you don't have that on it, maybe you cut it off, you can put a piece of tape and that's your new backing. Now this is the hardest part is to start it. You wanna get the part that has the backing onto your window first. And then peel the rest of it off. First use your hands to pull all the air bubbles and kind of position it where you want. It'll still move until all the soap dries up. And then use your squeegee, start pushing everything out. Now here's a little trick I'll help you with corners. Cut it at a 45 degree angle and I'll allow it to create a crease. Now that everything's positioned the way I want it, I'm gonna use my squeegee as a guide or you can use your credit card and start cutting it with your little X-Acto knife or utility knife. Spray it on top too, and I'll allow for the squeegee to move smoother and also prevent it from scratching the film. And here's exactly why you wanna cut a 16th of an inch around is because if this is flush, you constantly still have air bubbles that are gonna keep creeping up and delaminate this. But, by putting your guide over by your trim and cutting that 16th off, you allow for the film to have a perfect snug fit. Now you'll notice these tiny little soap bubbles that are still in there. Don't worry, they're gonna evaporate in the next about two to three days. You won't even see them. And just like that, that's how you tint windows in your house. Hey, thanks very much for sticking around watching yet another one of my videos. If you're brand new to the channel and you like videos like this or any kind of home improvement project, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell. That'll be alerted every time a video comes out. Tune out this week to see us on the next one. See ya, bye.